Hi, I'm Sheila Ward, and I'm here to give you the third video of week two of the ISTF chapter funding workshop. This video is on SMART objectives. Now, SMART objectives are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. If they're specific, they will cover, think about who should be involved in, the, in achieving the objective. What do you, do you really want to achieve? When should actions be done? Where should they take place? What conditions need to be met for the project to function? Then why do you want to achieve this objective? Measurable. Objectives should be, progress should be measurable in some way. So how can you measure progress toward that objective? Consider achievement in steps, setting milestones or benchmarks marks that you can measure for accomplishment of particular segments of work on that objective. So how will you know when the objective is achieved? The objective should be achievable. What skills, knowledge, and resources do you need to accomplish the objective? Do you already have them? If not, how can you obtain those components you need to accomplish the objective? And what are possible constraints on achievement of it? And will it be worth the amount of effort that it takes to achieve that objective? Then relevant, is the objective relevant? Does it address a real need? Is it aligned with the purposes of the ISTF chapter or the overall goals of the individual member? It is, is it aligned with the ISTF chapter strategic plan? Time bound, you need objectives need to occur within a particular period of time. So what is a realistic time frame for achieving the objective? Consider a timeline, what should be accomplished by what date? Also, what milestones benchmarks can you use at the different parts of the timeline to indicate achievement? What should be accomplished by the midpoint of the timeline? So here are examples of this objectives we talked about in the previous video and converting them to SMART objectives. So the first objective we stated was for this little project on reforestation we've been discussing is training a community in nursery management, tree planting and plantation care. Well, here's how to make that more specific with things that you can measure. Over two years, train 10 youths in each of three communities bordering on a forest reserve in nursery management, tree planting and plantation care. Objective two, plan and implement that tree nursery. Within the first year of the project, plan and implement three tree nurseries, one for each community with five species desirable for firewood and other purposes for production of a thousand seedlings per year per nursery. Now you don't have to do it like that exactly, but that's in, in a way that you can make an objective with measurable components to know if you're getting there. A third, the third objective we said was maybe awards individuals or communities who reach a survivorship threshold for trees planted. So maybe you could say at the end of three years, you would give a cash or other award to individuals or communities who reach a threshold of a certain number of trees planted per year and a survivorship threshold of XX percent after three years. So again, you will have this um, PowerPoint made available to you and you can check all the resources here for assist in writing SMART objectives. And then your assignment for this part is to convert the proposal goals objectives you have already developed into SMART objectives. So thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.